Okay, so this is the most oh chair. This is the most recent review I've done. It is of the series uh, five, episode six of Inside Number Nine, the final episode of the series. Gutted about that. Um, I've loved almost every episode of this series. It has been absolutely great. I'll be honest. I've just thought to myself now. I haven't recorded the one for episode five yet because when I did that, that was. When that episode first aired, uh, that was the first night I was sort of ill. Uh, if you don't know, which you, you won't because I haven't really mentioned this, I've been ill for about a week and I'm just on the up and up now. So yeah, um, I'll be recording episode 5 after this one, but yeah. Episode 6, The Stakeout, um, it was about two police officers, uh, played by the two mains, Reese and Steve. And... I had no idea about that twist. That was brilliant. This episode, um, uh, I always love these two dynamics. They've got it down solid. Like they've they've just mastered it. Anything with Reese Shearsmith, Steve Pemberton together, in my opinion, is just gold. Um, I cannot wait to see more of their stuff. I heard a rumor. I don't know if it's been confirmed by them themselves or not. I think it might have been I saw it on Twitter and I think one of them reshared it or retweeted it, sorry. Um that they've been renewed for a sixth and seventh season. I am overjoyed at that because this show is brilliant. If you haven't seen it, it's on iPlayer. If you don't have iPlayer, I wanna say it might be on Britbox, but I don't have Britbox and I have no idea what Britbox is. <laughs> I'm assuming it's like the Netflix for British television. Haven't got a clue, couldn't tell you. If not, go and buy the DVDs. They just, it's great. Inside number nine, perfect, love the show. Um, so, my opinion of this episode, my first thoughts, is brilliant. I loved the season finale. I was sort of not really understanding the twist until the end, and this is a very late burn, but if you sort of listen um, through sort of all the episode, I sort of picked up on it afterwards. It The twist does come more and more apparent as it goes on, and the ending is just phenomenal. Now, I'm not going to talk about it in this video, uh, but I will talk about it in my sort of roundup of the series that I'm also going to do for Doctor Who at some point. I don't think I've uploaded the last part for that one either yet. Um, as I said, I've been quite behind because I've been ill, so I've got a lot of catching up to do. Um, but yeah, this was a great episode. The twist comes really late at the end, and I think it was beautiful. Uh, minor spoilers now, so if you don't want to spoil the rest of the video, or the rest of the episode, I'm going to sort of say something that is technically a spoiler for the end, but it's not what the twist is. It's sort of just... It's weird. Just go and watch the episode if you want to watch the episode first, and then come back to this. If not, then this is the end of the video. My final thoughts is that it was a great episode and you should watch it if you haven't, and if you have, then I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, spoilers, three, two, one. Um, episode six for Inside Number Nine has always been sort of the more supernatural episode, and all the way through this episode, I didn't know when that was going to come up, if at all, because, you know, subverting expectations and stuff. Um, like in the first series, you had the harrowing, which had... Um, Oh, I can't remember the person's name. Anthras, was it? I think it was Anthras. Um, in episode in series two, it was Seance Time with the ghost child that made Reese piss himself. Um, in series three, it was... Uh, was it the... No, in series three, it was different. In series three, it was Private View, which was... Um, it took a bit of a deviation. That was more sort of real horror, again, opposed to Supernatural. And then... With series four, it was Private View, which was the 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 wishes, the thing that grants wishes. Oh, my throat's going. Um, so I, I don't know if this is sort of a rule, but I've sort of picked it up as almost a rule that the episode six sort of has more of the spiritualistic stuff rather than the um, the the thriller concept, the sort of realistic horror of it. And this one does deliver on that, which I didn't think it would until the very end. But I loved how they did it, and I can't wait for Series 6 when that comes out. Probably in about a year's time, or longer. I'm hoping it's not that long. I'm hoping it's only a year, if that. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, come back for the roundup of the series at some point. Not quite sure when that's going to be recorded. I might have to plan that one a little bit more. 
than these first thoughts, because obviously if you don't know how I do these th first thoughts videos, I just watch the episode and as soon as I finish watching it I drop onto uh, this and record it. So yeah, thank you all for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, I hope you liked this series, it has been brilliant I think in my opinion, and it's just good, yeah, go and watch it if you haven't already. Thank you very much and goodbye.